Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and today is day seven of Tea Advent Extravaganza. So we're going to open up the advent calendars this morning and I was thinking maybe we'll do a what I drink in the day vlog. I've been drinking way more <laughs> than just what's in the advent calendars. So I figured let's go through that. I'll share with you. Got some good stuff that I've been enjoying, so I'd like to share that with you while I can. All right, let's go do it. We're one week into December, y'all. How did that even happen? Day. Okay, so let's figure this out. <laughs> We've done three, so we need day four. Day four. Oh, a matcha lip balm. I can smell it. Why don't we go ahead and try it? It's very like uh, hydrating. It definitely feels like, like a natural lip balm. I can't say that it tastes specifically like matcha to me. It does have like a natural, very much like something I would have at a spa. So I'll keep this down here in my office. My lips have been so chapped lately because the weather just like <laughs> has been up and down. We started running the heat and we haven't put the humidifiers in our rooms yet. So I have been dried out. Thank you, Nazanine. I am excited to have that here. Let's see if we can find number seven. I have number eight. It's not day seven, guys. Day seven was yesterday. Day seven was today. What did I do? Y'all, it's not day seven. It's Tuesday. It's day eight. I, I'm, I'm a mess. Let's look for day eight. How about that? Let's do day eight. That I do have. I do have day eight. It's from Call Me Sweetie. Yay! Well, that's a fun surprise. Malfang green tea. Mm. To avoid scorching leaves. Oh, brew it, brew it at green tea tub. That is actually, honestly, this is something that new tea drinkers probably don't realize. Because for the longest time, I didn't realize I was home brewing green tea at too high of a temperature and that's probably why I didn't like it very much because I've always liked green tea in restaurants but whenever I would make it at home I never really cared for it so once you start brewing your tea at the right temperature and stop burning the leaves you know things taste better all right so the last one today is bird and blend snowman well that sounds fun Mrs. Claus Raspberry Prosecco. I really feel like they missed an opportunity to put Mr. Frosty with the snowman picture. Anyone else? I kind of wish these were like hints for what's inside. That would be fun. All right, now that I know what day it is, it is December 8th and I have my teas. Let's get this day started. All right, you guys, so tea one of the day. Titanic blend. If you watched my Hardy and Sons unboxing the other day, then you know that this was one of the options and this was a very popular vote in the comments. So this is my second time having it. It's a great breakfast blend. It is Kimum, Assam, Ceylon, and Oolong. It has 60 milligrams of caffeine and you brew it for five minutes and you're good to go. I didn't realize when I was purchasing it that it's uh, actually the sachets from Harney and Sons. And the last time I checked, they were still using microplastics. They hadn't moved to compostable pyramid bags. I know their paper bags are compostable, but these aren't. Um, and there's nothing on the packaging that says anything is different. So I went on their website and it still doesn't, there's nothing easily accessible about these bags. I sent them a message, so hopefully I'll hear back from them today. And if I do, I'll, I'll check in with you guys. But I still cut open their bags and brew it loose or brew it in a, in a compostable tea bag because just 
the microplastics, man, anywhere we can not consume them is, is a good thing. Um, it'll be nice when all of the tea bags can be can be plastic free, considering there are lots of companies like Bird and Blend and Tea Pigs and them that all are using like cornstarch based uh, pyramid bags. So you still get the the luxe feel of the these bags, but not the the waste. So just a little disappointing. All right. So how do you like my mug? <laughs> this was a gift from my sister a few years ago. Allons-y. Any of any Doctor Who fans? Any anyone who uh ten is your doctor? You're my kind of people. This is just this is a solid breakfast blend. This is something I would reach for every single day. Um, if they have it loose, I will definitely repurchase this. This is, this is nice. I, it, I wouldn't say it's anything like stand out, blow your mind, but this is, this is a solid breakfast tea that you can start your day with. It has a little bit of a sweetness, a lingering sweetness that I usually associate with Ceylon and it, it's strong, brisk, bold, you know, all those things that you want in a, in a morning breakfast tea. I'm a fan. some purple bubbles. I don't know anything, Oi. Hmm. Do you see any purple bubbles on these pieces? Hmm. Pull old bubble. Hmm. There we go. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> hey guys. So I just got done with my session. It is now 1030. I am sipping on some pumpkin spice from Leafberry. She so generously reached out and asked if, if I would be interested in trying some of her teas and I jumped at the chance. She is a black woman-owned small business who likes to focus on the use of purple tea and I have never tried pumpkin spice before because the smell is very off-putting to me very like candle-like potpourri kind of thing. I run into that issue a lot with flavored teas, but this, this is a really delightful blend. It's a nice balance. It's slightly sweet. It's kind of like chai light. And I think that's really appealing, um, especially for someone who is just getting into chai or is not sure that they would like pumpkin spice because of the strong flavors and stuff. I think this is a really great blend where it's not, none of that is overpowering. So it's worth checking out. But now it's time for some advent calendar teas. It's late enough in the morning that I can do some sweetness and I'm excited. I'm excited to try some and come along. It's time to go be a mom and drink some tea. two hours later hey guys so i'm back in my studio and i'm just getting caught up on teas i drank the tea pigs malfang green tea which typical green tea it was nice it was smooth nothing to complain about and then the bird and blend mr frosty which is a jasmine white tea and spearmint blend and i could drink it I just don't want to. I just don't really like spearmint in my teas and the combination of the jasmine and the spearmint creates like this natural sweetness. So like I totally get why they do it. I just, I don't want to drink it. So I'm not going to. So I'm going to make something that's probably black tea based because that's really what I want. And I'll check in when I do that. <laughs> 